Catherine Creedy from Arrow News Network, and I'm here with Nick Canelius, who heads up the uh, PT6 program at Pratt and Whitney Canada. We're here talking about the general aviation applications. The PT6, we've got some new competition on the horizon at the GE turboprop, and I'd like to get you to talk about the PT6 and its history and maintaining competitiveness. Well, you know, it's funny you should say we have introduced technology in you know over successive generations of PT6 and the PT6 by the way is not one engine it's no, a family of engines mm -hmm. right and it all starts from the fact that it's a reverse flow engine so you have the inlet in the back from the traditional turbine configuration very interesting how others see that it's the only configuration that works in most of these aircraft so you know, it's nice to be imitated the point I'm trying to make is we have engines today mm -hmm. in the Pilatus PC12 the Hare 900 930 which are state-of-the-art, single crystal blade configurations, hottest temperatures capable in an engine, and have a compressor that has an OPER actually of 13 to 14. There's one actually of 14, almost 2,000 horsepower, flying at Augusta on a tilt rotor aircraft. It can be transformed into a turboprop like we have. So we have technology we've been building on, we've been introducing for years, and we in fact work together with our UTC brethren, Pratt & Whitney in Hartford, the GTF engine mm -hmm, that you know mm -hmm. that we've used as part of the 800. That is a basis for how we work on technology, whether it's generated from ourselves, from there, or base technology that comes from UTRC, our United Technologies Research Council, Accenture that is. And really, we take the best technology that we have in the corporation and we look at the right ones for mm -hmm. the aircraft that we're flying. Notice PC-12s, they were talking about it yesterday, an aircraft that lands and takes off from unprepared strips, you have to make sure the engine can live very long life in that kind of harsh environment. Mm -hmm. And that is the focus. You cannot just take any technology and put it in there. Mm -hmm. That's why in Europe now, they're looking at single engine IFR. We've been instrumental. We've worked with the regulators. We've worked to try and get them to understand what North America and Australia mm -hmm. have understood for decades. Mm -hmm. And really, that will allow a different experience in Europe now in commercial aviation for mm -hmm. single passenger revenue mm -hmm. service. So uh, we have been working tremendously to, uh, to incorporate technologies that make the engines extremely reliable. Mm -hmm. We will continue to do so. I've mentioned before, we have electronic controls. We have an experience in the electronic controls across the company. And we're going to come out with something that will really change how you operate and maintain a turboprop engine. Mm -hmm. We've also, as I said, have a 2,000 horsepower engine already. We're going to look at what other technologies we can incorporate to make that even better for our future customers. Can't tell you about the details now, mm -hmm. but the PT6 has always had an injection of technology, regular intervals in conjunction with our aircraft OEMs, and that's critical so they can work in harmony. You don't want to be out of sync. You don't want to put mm -hmm. the wrong technology in. And of course, that always is something that we marry with the right service. Mm -hmm. We have a network that's the best, I would say, in the industry in terms of support. And we're looking at service strategy as well now that would really change the game. Mm -hmm. We've announced here the ESP, uh, especially for you, PT6 program. So that gives customers an experience that many have not had. Some of them have not tried the ESP program. And it's an opportunity for them to see what kind of support we can actually give under the umbrella of our mm -hmm. program. The especially for you, PT6 program is a program which provides 400 hours or two years free mm -hmm. of charge to customers and it comes with a lower first overhaul rate mm -hmm. to really give people an opportunity to lower their costs. We're looking at that as a benefit, not just for the operators, mm -hmm. but for the aircraft OEMs. And several of them have taken that same program and packaged it in an aircraft program and have been very successful at making customers interested in buying their aircraft. We know it's a tough market, mm -hmm. so we're doing everything we can to give them tools to be able to entice people to buy during this very challenging market. And we know operators feel the pinch, so mm -hmm. we're looking at what we can do to help them along. Well, thank you, Nick. I really appreciate your time at the uh, NBAA 2016. Aero TV is brought to you by the True Blue Power TC120 DC to DC converter features adjustable output voltage, supplying 120 watts of 5 to 18 volt power as needed anywhere in the aircraft. A direct replacement for American converters, the TSO certified TC120 is lighter and smaller than competing units and can be conveniently mounted in the floor or cabin wall. Available from your local avionics dealer.